So, sometimes you take cement off a truck. Sometimes you take it out of a horizontal silo. We call it a guppy or a pig. And it's basically, there's a tractor trailer load per pod. And there's six pods in it. It has a blower on it. Just like the trailers. And then you open these valves in the bottom. And the air pressure pushes it in the truck. And what you do is you open the pod. And you open the one beside it. Because as the pod gets empty, there's dividers. About right here. And that'll start falling over the side down into the bottom. So it, it'll get really slow to empty. And um, it'll purge a lot of air and stuff. So you open up two of them side by side. So that as this one goes down, that one goes down. This one's pretty much empty. You can hear an echo. This one. That's the line right there. That one's still full. It takes, it takes about 20, 30 minutes to fill the truck up. So you got line pressure and you got tank pressure. Tank line. It doesn't take a whole lot to push cement into a truck. Because you're not blowing it up into a silo 100 foot in the air, you're just blowing it into the truck. So five to seven pounds will do it. And then as that tank air starts getting empty, which it is, the pressure, the pressure will start falling. So then you close that valve and you open the next one over there. Again, to keep it from dropping over the divider. Empty. Not quite though. When it gets empty, it'll start pat. Well, let's see, it's close. We can go ahead and shut this one and open up the next one here at the end. Now that I've shut that one that was going empty, already the pressure's going up. So I was passing some air. I was trying to get the rest of it out of the bottom, but it was passing a lot of air. And that why well, see now there's hardly any dust. But I mean it's it's filling, you can hear it. And you can see the hose moving, you can feel it. You can see your foot on it, and you, you can feel the that powder going through it, you can see it moving a little bit. And you can hear it in there. You can also check the, the truck the same way as you check the tanks as you're filling it. There ain't much down here yet. I just got started. Anyway, so what you do here is if, if you know you got some work to do and your trucks are busy or, or your truck breaks down or something happens, your trucks that are delivering, you just go ahead and put them in the pig so you've got some storage. I, I, I like hot loads better. I like them straight off the truck, but I mean, this works too.